woodworkers of the world, welcome to the Swedish knife grip sessions. I'm working with the Mura Kniv model 106. Very good knife, very good steel. And now I want to show you some very powerful and good grips. Uh, we call this first one the power grip. Normally when you are carving you are using the elbow grip but if you want some extra power you can straighten your arm like this and then you skew the knife a little so the point in, is towards your body and then you lean forward like this with your body with straight arm remember that great arm using your muscles in your back and the weight of your body to press it forward like this very efficient and strong that's why we call it the power grip also you can use a shopping block as a support if you're working here on the side of the shopping block and stand up with your legs a little spread like that a straight arm you're just using the weight of your body and press down like this and the knife stops very good on the shopping block but you have to remember to be careful for your knuckles because if your hand is too far inside on the shopping block your knuckles can easily hit the block and you can hurt them pretty badly so be careful with that the next grip is a grip that we call the knee grip it's a little funny one but I learned this from older guys in my county many many years ago I'm using the little, you have a little hollow here on your knee and if you take your thumb muscle right here and place that in that hollow you have a little stop there and hold the knife firmly and then you pull the wood like this always with a knife a little at an angle to the wood so it slices better and then you just pull the material back like this all the way up this is a really good knife grip because you are in control the knife is still and safe and you're just removing the material so now we have been talking about the power grip and the knee grip heavy removal grips and very safe and strong grips and now we're moving on to some other knife grips